eBlessings presents communication skills hacks. Ever wondered? Why your cat pays more attention to you than people do during conversations? Unlock the secrets to captivating your audience. A deep dive into effective communication skills. Wondering how to get this done? Without getting into the boring lectures. Let's learn the seven hacks of communication. So folks, here is the hack number one. Being proactive in communication. It's like being a ninja in a conversation. Silent but deadly effective. Don't just stand there like a statue in a museum waiting for others to start talking. Jump in. Be the first to open dialogue. Next, play the mind reader. Think ahead about possible responses. It's like having a crystal ball, but for words. Plan accordingly, or you might find yourself in a verbal ping pong match without a paddle. Own your words. If you mess up, don't just ghost the conversation like you do with your gym membership. Apologize and rectify if your words turn into communication gremlins. Taking responsibility is about as popular as pineapple on pizza, but hey, it's necessary. Positive vibes only. Approach conversations like you're sprinkling fairy dust of positivity. A positive attitude is contagious, but in a good way, not like that flu you caught last winter. And lastly, shift the focus from problems to solutions. It's like being in a boat. You can either complain about the leak, or you can paddle like crazy to the shore. Remember, solutions are the life jackets of conversation. Hack number two. Begin with the end in mind. It's like having a GPS for your conversations. No more getting lost in the jungle of words. First, define your goals. Before you jump into the conversational pool, check if there's water in it. Stay on topic. Think of your conversation as a bowling lane. The bumpers are there to keep you from veering into the gutter. Keeping focused on the desired outcome is like hitting those pins. Strike. Now, visualize success. Imagine your conversation is a movie, and you're both the director and the lead star. What does a standing ovation look like for your dialogue? Picture it, and make it happen. Communicate with purpose. Every sentence should be a stepping stone to your goal. If it's not helping you cross the river, it's just a wet rock. Lastly, summarize key points. Wrap up your chat like a professional gift wrapper. Ready for hack number three? Put first things first. Kick off by prioritizing your key messages. It's like sorting your groceries. You don't put the ice cream at the bottom of the bag unless you want a messy meltdown. Manage your time like a pro. It's like having a TV remote. Know when to switch channels and when to stay tuned. Avoid overloading with information. Your conversation isn't a yard sale. You don't need to display everything at once. Keep it neat and tidy. Address urgent issues like a firefighter. See a fire? Don't wait till the end of your chat to put it out. And don't forget to review your priorities. It's like being a DJ at a party. You need to adjust the tunes as the vibe changes. Be the maestro, not the orchestra that's out of tune. Hack number four. Think win-win in interactions. First rule of the win-win club. Look for solutions where everyone gets a slice of the pie. Practice empathy. Put on your empathy glasses. Try to see the world from others' viewpoints. If you understand their needs, you're halfway to a win-win. Keep it respectful, even when you disagree. Focus on issues, not personalities. No one wins in a mudslinging contest. Collaboration is key. Think of it as a potluck dinner. Everyone brings something to the table. Celebrate those shared wins. It's like cheering at the end of a marathon. You made it together. Ready for hack number five? Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Listen actively. It's not just about letting the sound waves hit your eardrums. Listen to understand, not just to plan your epic comeback. Avoid jumping to conclusions. Stay open-minded, and don't let assumptions lead you down the wrong alley. Finally, reflect and clarify. It's like repeating the coffee order back to your friend to make sure you got it right. Gear up for hack six. Synergy. Where your body and mind do a tango in every conversation. Body language. It's like your body's doing jazz hands while you talk. Your arms flailing about can tell more than your words. Build on ideas by letting your thoughts do a little salsa. It's not just about flapping your lips. It's about firing up those neurons. Lastly, hack 7. Sharpen the saw. First up, find balance. 
Balance your listening and speaking. It's the key to not falling off the conversation wire. Get creative. Try new words, new expressions. And practice. Yes, talking to yourself in the mirror counts. Keep practicing, keep balancing, and stay creative. Don't worry if this sounds too much. Here is a bonus hack. Pray like Prophet Moses did. Open for me my chest. Grant me self-confidence, contentment, and boldness. And ease my task for me. And remove the defect from my tongue, so that they may understand my speech. Subscribe to eBlessings for more videos like this. Or join the Communication Skills course by filling the form at www.eblessing.online.